Walkers, biters, infected, but never zombie. Here's why we never hear the Z word in The Walking Dead. Although The Walking Dead has now come to an end after 11 seasons, the world of the show is still going strong. With several planned spin-offs in the works, there's still a lot of road for these dead to walk. As a franchise, The Walking Dead has helped to keep zombies alive, so to speak, half a century after George Romero defined the modern zombie genre with 1968's Night of the Living Dead. And yet an interesting quirk of the universe created by Robert Kirkman is the surprising absence of the word zombie. Although the term is synonymous with The Walking Dead at this point, it's never spoken by any of the characters. In keeping with the show's name, zombies in the show are always referred to as walkers, among other nicknames such as biters and infected. The omission of the word is intentional. Zombies have been such a relevant part of the horror genre and pop culture as a whole that the zombie-centric stories now tend to go one of two routes. Either embrace the zombie zeitgeist and knowingly play into the tropes of the genre, or make the characters utterly unaware of the concept of a zombie. For Robert Kirkman, the choice was simple. Make it so that the world of The Walking Dead had never known any work of zombie fiction. Featured as a guest on Conan, Robert Kirkman explained the absence of the word zombie, saying that he believed it would be better for the characters of The Walking Dead to learn how to deal with the walkers through their own experiences, as opposed to drawing on the universal knowledge of zombie lore we all share in the real world. He explained, So we wanted to kind of give you a sense that The Walking Dead takes place in a universe where, you know, zombie fiction doesn't exist. You know, no one inside The Walking Dead has seen a Romero movie, so they can't get the rules from that. Kirkman's rule for omitting the word works exceptionally well for the series. Viewers knowledgeable in all things zombies are treated to a new kind of tension when first seeing Rick Grimes woefully unaware of walkers or their deadly potential in the show's pilot episode. Moreover, watching characters grow more adept at dealing with the infected and learning lessons the hard way about walkers' weaknesses is what kept the show engaging over its 11 seasons. That's especially the case with the introduction of the Whisperers, humans who wear walker skins and move within the herds of the undead as the main characters were unsure if walkers had evolved when they first heard them whispering to one another. Don't let them get away. Romero himself never used the word zombie in the dialogue for Night of the Living Dead, because the word had a distinctly different meaning back then. Originating in Haitian folklore, a zombie was a body that had been reanimated using magic and was in the thrall of a voodoo master. That's how they were depicted in the very first zombie movie, 1932's White Zombie, which starred Bela Lugosi. As Romero explained to Entertainment Weekly, I never thought of my guys as zombies when I made the first film. To me, zombies were still those boys in the Caribbean doing the wet work for Lugosi. I just wanted some sort of phenomenon that would be a game changer, so that I could have my human characters fail to react appropriately. He went on to say, I never called them zombies. I never thought of them as zombies. It was only when people started to write about the film and take it a bit seriously that they started to call them zombies. So I called them zombies when I made the second film ten years later. That second film, 1978's Dawn of the Dead, was released in Italy under the title Zombie and spawned a series of not-at-all-official sequels under the Zombie branding, starting with the infamously gory 1979 film Zombie 2. But while Romero went on to use the word zombie more often in scripts, it's only spoken aloud once in Dawn of the Dead, and not at all in any of his other films. Zack Snyder's 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead avoided it entirely. What you wanted up? In fact, not saying the word zombie is itself part of the modern zombie tradition created by Romero. Although zombie is never used by the characters themselves, Robert Kirkman still uses it in everything else involving The Walking Dead. He said that while he freely uses the word to describe scenes in the scripts, sometimes he accidentally throws the word into the dialogue. And so it's the zombies come here, the zombies come there, and then all of a sudden I'll slip a zombie in the dialogue and go, oh god, I gotta correct that. The Walking Dead may not say the word zombie, but it's still a zombie show through and through. From the bloody action of the series to the incredible makeup and prosthetics by the legendary Greg Nicotero, the Walking Dead series became a huge success by tapping into exactly what makes zombie stories so great. Add to that a large number of factions and other settlements that the world of The Walking Dead introduced in the main series and spin-offs, and you have a zombie story with solid foundations. The absence of zombies from popular culture made the infected a shock and a mystery to the characters, giving the show the suspense and excitement it needed early on. By the time they figured out how to deal with walkers, there was already a much larger world and characters for the show to focus on. The Walking Dead may never have used the Z-word, but viewers will still remember it as one of the best zombie shows out there.